All right, so you're going to refinish your Haywood Wakefield furniture. Now there's certain products that we're going to need in order to accomplish this job. Um, first thing would be the stain. So you uh, want either wheat or champagne, um, whichever Haywood Wakefield finish it is that you are reproducing. Um, so there's the, the champagne or the wheat, all right? Um, other products that you're going to need are clear containers like uh you know we can i just use little tupperware containers or, um, or we'll be fine you want one to pour your stain into and then one to pour your finish into they certainly can be larger than these but we're just doing a, a small area so i'm just going to use smaller containers um, but you want a container because um, you're going to want to mix your stain thoroughly okay so you're going to want to shake it really well and make sure it's thoroughly mixed because the uh some of the colorants is going to settle in the bottom so mix it real thoroughly before we put it into our container now another thing that you're going to need for applying your stain um i like to use terry cloth covered staining pads um i actually just picked these up at uh Harbor Freight, I believe. Yeah, Harbor Freight, I picked these up at. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Lowe's, your big box stores, wherever. Um, but terry cloth staining pads, they work terrific. Now, um, in if you, in the absence of, of terry cloth staining pads, you can just use a white cotton rag. Um, you know, you can use pretty much anything that's lint free. Okay, so you can use wiping rags. You can use like an old T-shirt. All right, but the stain pads are what I would actually uh, suggest, okay? Then um, I like to have some, some water. This is just water in a, in a container. I like to have water on hand, okay? So you're gonna want a container of water. Um, another thing you're going to want are uh, applicator pads if you're using the finish, okay? So you can also use, um, you know, a brush, you know, but um, I, just going to use for this tutorial um, foam wiping pads. Okay, so foam applicator pads um, for applying a finish or a brush or whatever type of finish you're using, um, just you know, whatever it's going to require to apply it. All right, um, your containers should have lids because these products are water, uh, water reducible. Okay, so by being water reducible, they're going to evaporate. So if you put them on the container, make sure you put a lid on the container, all right? Um, another thing that you like to have on hand um, are scotch brake pads. I use uh, typically the maroon, but the gray work also. Um, like to have one of those on hand or a piece of 4 steel wool. Now, this will be, it's good to have the floor steel wool on hand anyways, even if you have the, the wiping pad, because we may use the steel wool at the end of the process to rub the finish out, okay? Um, we might want the scotch Bright pad or the steel wool to lighten the, the stain, and I'll show you that later, okay? Um, and of course, you know, again, um, wiping rags. Those are pretty much the products you need. So as long as you have these products um, were ready to get started.